What's up everyone? Today I want to talk to you about your overhead press, okay? Are you someone that overhead presses and shrugs and makes the Elvis face, okay? Or are you someone that overhead presses and ends up in this position right here feeling really, really uncomfortable, okay? If you're nodding and if you agree with me, we've got some work to do, okay? So when you overhead press, you want to focus on your shoulder being back. Chest up tall, not here like that. Chest tall, not hips back. Hips forward. As you press overhead, whether you've got a dumbbell or a kettlebell like I've got here, you want to focus on going up and back. So if I look straight ahead, I don't see my bicep, okay? Got it? Simple enough, right? No, not simple enough. If you can't do that, if you can't get your arms straight overhead and go for a walk around, around the gym or around the building or wherever, <clears throat> if you're fighting the weight the whole time, that indicates that you've got some limitations in your uh, thoracic region or tightness in through here as well, okay? So probably some other things going on, but those are most of the culprits. So in order to alleviate that and to make your overhead press a bit safer and a bit better, you need to be using the foam roller, but using it specifically on certain spots. What I mean by that is rolling into your lat region, all right? Everyone's kind of familiar with rolling onto their back. But what you want to do here is go more to the side. It's going to be a little bit tender if, you have, if you're one of those people I just talked about that has those limitations. But really opening up, extending the arm out, palm up, and then slowly working into the area behind the armpit, okay? Most people will feel some tension there. Certain people more degrees than others, all right? Another thing you can do too, with a ball like this, you can also use a baseball or a lacrosse ball. Uh, just make sure it's not too slippery. You can roll in this area here, getting that elbow back and pushing in until you find things, all right? When using a roller um, or the ball, you want to find stuff that doesn't feel great, okay? If something hurts, that means it needs more tension, needs to be addressed, all right? So focus it on that. It's not the roller hurting you, it's the quality of your muscle tissue, okay? So think about those few things. If you have any questions, please let us know. <laughs>